What was that? What? What were you, what were you doing just then? <laughs> I was doing a Come on, do it! <laughs> Richard, this is, this is a very green MR2. Now, what's special about it? A Mark III MR2. Oh, yes, it is a Mark III MR2. So we don't see many of those. No, we don't. In fact, we don't, because we never really work on them. Um, it's got a K20 in it. Which, which is basically why it's here. Beautiful. We had this car in before Christmas, um, and it didn't perform, basically. When we put it on the dyno and we started doing some power runs on it, very quickly it died once it went onto VTEC. Uh, it had some issues, um, had some engine management codes going on, uh, a few bits and bobs. And something me and Dan always say is, if you start having problems that early on, then you know it's sometimes time to quit and fix some things and then go back at it. Yeah, um, a bit of detective work. Yeah, a bit of detective work. The VTEC solenoid was leaking oil, but it wasn't leaking oil from the gasket, it was leaking oil from the actual solenoid itself. So it threw up an oil pressure fault first, then it threw up the VTEC solenoid fault. Uh, we had an idle, uh, sorry, an air intake temp fault, but obviously that was because it didn't have a sensor in it. Um, the main thing for the power, in my opinion, it was down massively. I think we finished at about 190 brake or yeah. something like that. Which obviously, as you very well know, these are, over, these are 200 standard. And with yeah. some basic breathing rods, should do 225, 230, no problem. Um, we believe that problem was down to the exhaust. Basically, the manifold looked pretty good and they brought it down, but they'd gone to a collector and reduced it down to two and a quarter and then gone into a 70 mil exhaust or gone up to a 70 mil exhaust. So in itself, it looked okay. So I've had to repair that, uh, well, I'm gonna say repair that collector, but make that into a, a true three inch and then put a three inch V-band on. It's not ideal, but then I didn't make that. I'm just rectifying that. And then I've made a full three inch exhaust. So too good sight, it was rip roaringly loud on that exhaust. It was loud. There was no way it was ever getting on track. Um, yeah, so we've made a true three inch obviously from there, put two good silences in it and remade the exhaust as well. So hopefully now with the improvements to the exhaust and fixing all of the bits that needed fixing as regards sensors and VTEC signals and stuff, we should now be able to put this on the dyno and make some power. Should we have a start up? Uh, yeah, if you want. Do it.
It's nice and warm here. Yeah, nice and warm. Heat coming off the exhaust. Off I have to do a slightly different angle with my top of my head chopped off here because there's only one seat and it's a bit cramped in there. So we're having to do it sort of from the back of the car underneath the spoiler. Mm, but it's lovely warm. But it's lovely I'm warm. just pointing that out. I'm not cold. I'm nice and warm. Yeah, so to recap uh, where Dan did his little bit of a video yesterday. Toyota MR2. MR2. It's awesome. Mate. MR3. Yeah, it's good. good setup. Uh, customer bought it this way, obviously with, the, with, with how it was. Wasn't happy with it, said obviously it felt flat, it didn't really pull very well, blah, blah, blah. Obviously it needed mapping at that point, or what you assume. So it was here for an ECU exchange and map before Christmas. Uh, we did an initial power run, didn't make power. So there was definitely something wrong with it, but we thought, okay, maybe it is just it wants mapping because it's a different setup, especially with the exhaust routing, because it comes out from the manifold, turns 180, mm. turns 180, goes back through the map box, turns 90, comes out, so it's quite a squirrely exhaust. Squirrely? Um, squirrely. Yeah, squirrely. Like so, that. so maybe uh, it was it was you know needy mapping because of that. Um, so we went down that route. So we put an ECU in it. We obviously started tuning, and yeah, quickly realised that obviously we weren't going to get anywhere with it. It was every time you put it on VTEC, it was falling flat. Uh, in fact, actually dipping off power, it was making more power on the low cam than it was on the high cam, which generally suggests there's a flow issue. Uh, tune for a little bit anyway, see if we could get around it because customer travel quite a distance. Had a bit of a leak. Uh, and, then, and then we had a leak from the VTEC solenoid. It threw up an oil pressure switch fault. It threw up a VTEC solenoid fault. Then we ended up with an air intake sensor fault. And you know, it just started to go wrong. And me and Dan have learned over the years, if things aren't just going your way, then just stop and rectify and then come back to it. And we needed some parts and it was Christmas. Yeah, so literally. We ordered all the parts up. Yeah, so we sent the customer home on the train. Uh, we kept the car here, obviously, with his permission, obviously, he said, well, just fix it and give me a ring when it's done. So we said, well, we won't do that till the new year. Uh, ordered a VTEC solenoid, genuine one, air intake temp sensor. We fitted those yeah, yesterday and the day before. Uh, modified the collector because it was a two and a quarter inch collector. Uh, so we modified that to a three inch with a three inch V-band and then completely remade the exhaust in three inch. Which looks great. With two bigger silencers. So it's definitely more track friendly than it was ever before. It's quieter. It's a lot quieter than it was before. Um, and it looks better in my opinion. It's just generally it done. So we, we've reworked all of that. Now the absolute result for all of that is we've made power. We have. Um, we finished on uh, 212, which may not sound like a, a, a massive gain, but considering this car was only running about the 190 mark previously. We actually made over 70 brake horsepower in the mid-range. Yeah, which is obviously whopping. I mean, that's where all the flows come into account. I still feel, because of the exhaust design and the fact that it is a 180, a 180, and then a 90, and it's so close all wrapped together, that the exhaust design has still hurt us on power today. Um, so, we, yeah, it is. So it's hurt us. It's, it's not on strike. No, it's not today, he's in. Mm. So uh, yeah, that has still hurt us a little bit on power. Uh, but I don't believe it's a flow issue now. We're up to 212. Uh, I think this is made as good as it's going to make. This is um, going to be rapid. No, it will be rapid compared to what it was, without, without question. It will not be disappointed. The bombs it drops is pretty impressive as well. Um, so yeah, just generally overall, I think it's gone really, really well. We've made some super, super, super gains uh, and I can't see him for one second being disappointed. He's going to drive this and he's going to be like, wow. Yeah, definitely. Should yeah. we have a look at the graph? Yeah, let's have a look at the graphic, Mum. So as we always say, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves. As you can see, the red line is not a complete run. Uh, pulling out, uh, pulling out, never pull out. Um, but yeah, uh, we've made some significant gains there and we finish, oh, hang on. We finish on 212, which is 186 at the wheels. And it is a gem. Jeno really enjoyed this one, didn't you, Jeno? Yeah, it's cool. This is cool. Big flame. Biggest flames you've ever seen, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. So, first video back in the, in the new year. Thank you very much, guys, for all your support, especially over Christmas, listening to us waffle on and watching our shorts on YouTube. Um, code, word, code word for this is Custom Works with an X on the end. So, Custom Works with an X on the end. Um, that's our code word. Thank you for getting to this point in the video. We do really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one, won't we, Jeno? We will indeed. We will indeed. Like before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast.